everyone's favorite weapon, Glaive, is coming back into its former glory this season with the introduction of the two new seasonal runes with Conqueror's Blade Alexander. In this video, I'm going to go over what those two runes are, why they're going to make a big deal for Glaive and being a good class again, as well as showing off some gameplay of them in action. So to start with, let me give you some context just to back this up. So Glaive, historically, what people will do is they will take Warlord, or sorry, God of Battles, which is an AoE buff for your soldiers, it just increases the damage. Um, and then Warlord's Greeting, which is basically just used as a stun to set up these Flying Reaper ability, which was the ultimate that people generally took as it did a knockdown and does a pretty good amount of damage. So the main problem with this build is you could pretty easily get stunned or knocked out of this Flying Reaper ability, so it was kind of hard to land this consistently in big team fights. But in a sec, I'll show you why that's not going to be the case anymore. The other thing is, historically, this Hail of Blades ability has been pretty useless, but I do think this might actually be a viable pick now because of the new runes. So let's go ahead and jump into the runes here. So the big change here that Glaive is getting is they get this new rune here called Demigod Authority. So what that does, it makes Hail of Blades and Flying Reaper, those two ultimate abilities, they will now grant immunity to all control effects except for Choke. So what that means is you'll be able to land your Flying Reaper and Hail of Blades much more consistently. It'll be very hard to get you out of those abilities, except for you know very particular abilities that uh, have the choke ability that can get you out of that. But in the vast majority of scenarios, you're not going to be able to get stunned out of this, which is huge. That means other heroes might even waste their ability trying to if they think that you still can get stunned out of it. So this is going to make a huge difference. I think Flying Reaper will just be even better now because you have this immunity. It also means Hail Blades I think is going to be a viable pick in dueling situations because it does a pretty good amount of damage. Its problem was just historically it took so long and you could get stunned out of it. Um, and I guess a good comparison here is with the Poleaxe. They have that Locha Bar Strike which is kind of similar in how long it lasts to this Glaive ability. Um, and that, has, that historically wasn't useful until Polax got their epic armor schematic that made them immune during that ultimate. So I think be, if you compare those two, that basically means Hailblades will now possibly be a very good pick for Glaive with that immunity. I think we could see this being even a pick over Flying Reaper in the future, potentially. So that's what I'm going to be trying out here in my games in a sec. But yeah, so that's a huge new rune buff that Glaive is getting. One other one to point out here, another option for Glaive that they're getting is they will now have this Divine uh, divine Oppression rune once, uh, and you'll get this at level 40. And this will make Flying Reaper no longer knock away enemy heroes, but instead stuns them for 4 seconds. So you won't knock them down, but a 4 second stun is a very long time against enemy heroes, so that will vastly improve Glaive's ability to lock down and kill enemy heroes, which will be good in dueling situations and in general in team fights to lock down those frontline heroes that are attacking your troops like Mauls and Short Swords. So I expect this to be another really good option for Glaive. Um, I don't think you can use this in combination with the immunity, they're both cost the 3 out of the 5 rune power here, um, but either one is going to be a very solid pick, I think. But I think immunity will be the bigger game changer here, even though this is going to be really strong. The last thing to note here is um, Glaive is also getting this Titanic Physique seasonal rune, so this will make their Horse E ability, which is called Turn and Attack, although it doesn't really say that anywhere else. But that Horse E ability they have will now grant immunity to all control effects except for Choke, similar to um, that other rune that gives your ultimate the same immunity. So what that means is you'll be able to charge into a fight, use your E ability, which will be immune, and then quickly hop off your horse with your Q and go right into either the Hail of Blades or Flying Reaper attacks with immunity also. So you're going to be able to get into the battle being immune and then quickly hop off your horse and there's a quick maybe a second or a split second where they could stun you before you can get into your ultimate immunity. But I think for the most part you're basically going to be completely immune coming into these battles uh, off your horse. So that would be really cool to see. Um, I might do another video once I hit level 40 un and unlock this, but I just want to show this off for now and make everyone aware of this because I'm very excited that Glaive is going to be back, especially given this new immunity rune. So yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Try these runes out, try Glaive out. I know it used to be an awesome class. It's not as good as it used to be, but I think with these new seasonal runes, I think it's going to turn things around. I think Glaive might even go back to S tier, or hopefully it will, but we'll have to see. But yeah, I'm going to now get into some gameplay and show this off. So let's hop into that. All right, let's hop into some Glaive gameplay here on White Elk Fort. I'll go ahead and see if I can take this guy out here. Oh, dang. <laughs> I did so much damage for some reason. Use my ultimate, see how much damage this does against these guys. 
get some free enemy kills here. Pretty easy. Just clean up, clean up on aisle one over here. Just a quick 30 kills to start the game. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead and try to get this guy over here as well. He went behind our lines and uh, took our supply point. Oh, I missed him. Here we go. But Glaive is pretty good at uh, taking people off their horses. But he just seems to want to keep running around here. Alright, let me see if I can uh, just put him on V attack. Should be able to take him out here. Not used to my abilities right now. Alright, let's see if I can get him here. Should be able to get him pretty quick. Alright, there we go. Just put him in prefecture drill and use my ultimate, kill him pretty fast. Alright, two hero kills. Let's see what else we can get here. Looks like more people might be coming this way. Let's see. Um trying to decide if I should go help supply or pick these guys off up here. I kind of feel like I should try to pick these guys off. I think there's too many for me to handle over there. So yeah, let me... I'm gonna see what's happening in gate really quick. Okay, gate's fine. I'm gonna see if I can maybe pick these guys off up here. This guy's gonna sit here. I might be able to take him out here. Kind of running away now. All right, let's see if we can go take care of these guys. That guy's probably gonna run away, so let's go after this guy. All right, he jumped off there. <laughs> That's okay. All right, who else do we have here? Oh, we got some archers down here. Let's see if I can go take care of them. These guys are pretty vulnerable here. I think I can take them out. I'm gonna charge my guys in so they get there faster. Put them on iron sides. Alright, looks like he just swapped out there. So I'm just gonna kill his retreating archers anyways. If he wants to get his uh, units out, I'll just kill his archers anyway. Same with this guy. This guy's pretty vulnerable here. Probably gonna die here, but I've got a lot of archers from that, so I'm okay with that trade. Already at 68 unit kills here because of that, so that's that's pretty nice. All right, let's see what's going on. So we killed we've killed a group of fire archers, some squires, uh, most of another group of I think I don't know what those were, fire archers or prefecture, I'm not sure. So <clears throat> we're doing pretty well so far. Um, I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take out the domain spearmen. They've been working pretty well for me. Their damage is surprisingly good, actually. <clears throat> Looks like we got a guy at supply again. Let's go ahead and clean this guy up here. Forgot these prefecture pikemen actually do a lot of damage these days. Took care of him, no problem. I'm gonna heal up and see where I should go from here. I could maybe go back on the wall again. Oh, there's some cavalry coming in. I need to watch out for that. Let me try to hide around the corner real quick. I think I can probably take care of these guys. If he tries to charge in. Looks like he doesn't want any part of that, actually. Oh. Okay. He does want to charge in. Just lost all his cav for basically no reason. It looks like we're pushing up the wall here. I'm gonna see if I can go support that. It's good to clear off the wall, especially if they set up artillery up there, but obviously you do run the risk of something like that happening. I want to go test out my Hail of Blades Billy, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna have a chance to up here. Maybe we can push up the other wall. It looks like they are pushing into the A point here. I'm gonna try to go clean up these guys here. Let's see how much damage this does to him. 
That's pretty good damage, actually, I would say. I'll keep pushing him with my team here. Let's get a big buff going. Yeah, we're just cleaning these guys up, no problem. I can't even get <laughs> many kills. My teammates are killing them all too fast. Maybe I can get some archers here. Some, some free kills here. We're just dominating these guys. I mean, we're only up by a couple, maybe like 150 troops. But hero-wise, a lot of the guys have died multiple times. They seem to want to keep diving this supply over here for some reason. I mean, if I was them, I would take this route over here. So, I'm not sure why they're not doing that more, but, you know, I'll take the free kills. Okay, let's see... I thought that... oh yeah, there, are, there is some cav right here, actually. I was seeing him on the mini-map, and I was gonna try to take him out, but he was aware of it, I guess. Let's see where we should go. They're back on that wall again. Yeah, let's go back on that wall. I think our team's playing this pretty well. Um, as soon as they get up on that wall, we just keep pushing them back before they have a chance to regroup. Um, which is pretty smart, generally. Uh, there are quite a few of them here now. We're gonna have to play this a little carefully. Wait for those trebs to hit and then push in. Um, oh, I went in a little prematurely, but that's okay. Let's get my Domain Spearman in there. Again, I was a little slow to that fight, but that's okay. The problem with their team right now is they're just not uh, coordinated. They're just not in sync with their pushes right now. They are pushing, but they're pushing after half their team gets wiped, so it's not really the best strategy for them. Let's get our Spearman in there. I just swap between advancing and uh, the one ability on these guys, and it seems to work pretty well most of the time. Just watch out for uh, incoming charges in blue tier. A lot of guys charge in their troops without thinking too much about it. Alright, I'm probably going to die here, but I want to kill some of these guys. Yeah, I didn't quite get them, but that's okay. I might go swap out my troops. I'm not sure. <clears throat> The Domain Spearmen are working pretty well for me, but um, I think I want to switch to Howard Ears, maybe. I want to get some kills. I want to be able to move fast and uh, do high damage here. Glaive is generally pretty nice with high damage infantry units or other units, um, just because they have the damage buff, so you get even more damage. It sounded like they, they finally breached the main, main gate. The For some reason, the main gate breach hasn't been down this whole time. These guys are just inting in over and over again. Let's see if I can help pick some of these heroes off here. Yeah, these guys have a lot of range, so I'm just going to go ahead and take out the range up here. A lot of free kills. Broke 100 kills. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Didn't, definitely didn't need, need to use my ultimate there. Right, I'm gonna set up on the gate with my halberdiers now. Um, I'm actually going to charge through this, I think. Yeah, let's get a charge here. Maybe we can get some kills from this. Get my damage buff up. Oh man, we're just eating these guys. 130 kills now. I'm back up a little bit so I don't die. I think we can probably move our guys up a little bit here. And rebrace them here. Oh, my heal didn't go through. I must have been burning or something. Yeah, we're just we're just running over these guys. Um <clears throat> I might try I might die if I go after these guys, but I maybe I can get some free picks here. The trick is if you're playing off horseback, just hit them, and then see if they're paying attention. If they don't turn around and embrace like that right away, then you can probably pick a few of them off like this. Since we have other heroes here, we can just probably go... Oh, alright. <laughs> that was a bad decision. 
I actually didn't think they would do that much damage. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I'm on a 40 second timer here. The game's only gonna be one more minute. There's pretty much no way we're gonna lose this. So that is pretty much it for the Glaive here. Um, as much as we're gonna see for this game, so... I don't know, really strong. Still, like, probably the best weapon class at taking out enemy ranged units like this when there's uh, an open field that you can get to them. Because you can just your, use your E-Horse ability, hop off, and use your Q spin around. You still might die if you don't have a lot of health, but, you know, it's like 30 free kills. So, and you wipe out a whole ranged unit. So, it, you know, what you can do with Glaive is just dive a few ranged units and then swap to a different uh, hero class that's not going to die as often, like a longsword. Um, that's kind of a good strategy if you just want to use your life to take out a lot of ranged units in siege games. But, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what we're looking at with the new ultimate ability. I didn't get the shot off too much, but uh, you can see, like, the glaive damage is pretty nice now, and the CC immunity is really nice on that Hailstorm ultimate ability. Um, really hard to stop you in the middle of that, and a lot of people still think they can stop you, so you can catch a lot of people off guard by that too. They'll just waste your abil their abilities on you. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you're excited to get back into playing Glaive again. Really excited to see you guys out there. I'll see you out in the battlefield.